Hello friends, today we will see how hyperbola can be drawn with the help of directrix focus method. Now as per the given problem, the distance between directrix and focus is given 60 mm and the eccentricity ratio E is given 3 by 2. So let's see how this hyperbola can be constructed. So very first of all, we will draw a directrix line AB which will be a vertical straight line and through any random point C, we will draw a perpendicular to it. So this will be the axis line of the hyperbola. As we have been given the distance between directrix and focus 60 mm, we will plot point F at a distance of 60 mm on axis line. So as this eccentricity is greater than 1, so of course it would be a hyperbola curve. As per our definition of eccentricity is the ratio of Vf to Vc. So from this relation we can conclude Vf upon Vc is equal to 3 by 2. So to locate point V we can take help of this ratio Vf upon Vc is equal to 3 by 2. So we need total 5 divisions between point F and C. We will divide this total 60 mm into 5 equal parts and we get total 5 number of points over here. Now from this relation, we can conclude B would be 3 divisions from point F whereas it will be 2 divisions from point C. So 3 divisions from point F, 1, 2 and 3, here we get point B. Once we get point B, draw a straight vertical line at point V itself. Now take a distance of Vf in the compass and this distance cut an arc from point V on this vertical line so that you get point E on this vertical point. In this case Vf is equal to Ve and once you get point E draw a straight line joining point C and E and extend that line on right hand side. So we must divide now axis line into equal number of divisions. We already have equal divisions beyond point V on the axis line. So we will continue with those points itself and we will name those points as 1, 2 and 3. Point 3 I am taking at the same point where focus point F is given. Now we will draw straight vertical lines at point 1, 2 and 3. Wherever these lines will cut that slanted line, we will name those points as 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. Now, to get a curve, we must get certain points through which we can pass that curve. And to get these points, we will take particular distance in the compass and we will cut that distance from point F. So very first of all, we will take distance 1 to 1 dash in compass and this distance will cut an arc from point F on that line itself above and below both sides. So very first of all, we will take 1 to 1 dash distance in compass and that distance will we are going to cut an arc but keeping point F as center on a line 1 1 dash above and below both sides. After that, we will take line 2, 2 dash in the compass as a radius and this radius we are going to cut an arc from point F on that line itself above and below. So again, so last we will get distance 3 to 3 dash as a radius and this distance will cut an arc from point F on that line itself. So we get two or more points above and below on line 3. Once you get all these points, draw a smooth curve passing through all these points. Now this curve is called hyperbola. But now it's time to draw a normal and tangent to the curve through any random point on it. So we will take any random point P on the curve. Now to draw normal and tangent at point P, very first of all we will draw a line joining P and F. 
and then we will draw the second line which will be perpendicular to this line PF. Wherever the second line will intersect that directrix, from that point itself we will draw third line that will be joining point P. And this line is called the tangent to the curve. Once you draw perpendicular to this tangent, you get normal to the curve at point P itself. So this is hyperbola by directrix and focus method. There are some other methods are also there with the help of which we can draw a hyperbola curve. We will try to cover these different methods with the help of which this hyperbola can be made. So keep practicing. Thank you.